Hey friends, what's up? I've been wanting to do this project for a while. The basic idea is that a lot of people when they see skateboarding, they think it looks like people have got magnets in their shoes. And so I had some of these neodymium magnets lying around, basically just a really strong consumer grade magnet. And I got these new Anthony Van England Pro Shoes. Shout out to Comfort Skate Shop for staying open during this isolation time and hooking people up. So I'm gonna do some science, put the magnets on my board and in my shoes and see how it affects the skating. So I've got the magnets in here. I wrapped them in paper to bring them home from my science room. And you can see this cardboard is separating them. So there's like one inch where the magnets are still connected. So you can see that connection. So one inch or less is what I'm going for to really feel the effect of the magnet. The way that magnetic fields work is that the magnetic force dissipates with proximity. So the distance, the further it is, the weaker the magnetic field is. That means I've got to take into consideration, am I placing it on top of the trucks or beneath the trucks? Right now, I feel like putting it beneath the trucks would not work because it would be between the truck and the board and that would crush the magnet. But I'm thinking if I put it here on top of the board, then it's gonna get in the way of my flick for ollies, my kick flips, but we'll see. Also, this is what the magnets look like. So it's just over an inch in diameter, and you can see how it snaps in uncovered. And I'm going to be placing it in the ball of my shoe. I'm not going to secure it with anything, I'm just going to let my foot hold it in place. Let's see how it feels. So I can definitely feel them. I mean, they're like a quarter of an inch thick, and I wore thicker socks just to help brace against my metatarsal bones right here, but I can walk fine. If I land on my balls of my feet, it kind of hurts. So the magnets are in my insoles right here, and if I put it on the board, and I estimate the depth here, that's about an inch. That's what I was looking at with the magnets when they were stored. So I'm hoping that'll give us some good connection. So here's another magnet. I'm going to duct tape this onto the bottom. Just as an initial test, I'm not going to jump on this because it could break the magnet. It's right in the center where the trucks would be. Alright, so there's some attraction there, but it's weak which is pretty close to what I was guessing it was with one inch. Now let's see what the attraction is like on top of the skateboard. So I'm placing it right in the middle of the truck. I'm gonna tape it down. I'm not sure how well it's gonna stick to the grip tape, but we're just doing this initially. Okay, much better and I'm going to do another layer just to be safe. I know this is going to mess with my ollies sliding my foot up here but we'll see how it goes. So I've got both magnets on and I flipped the polarities between my shoes. A really common occurrence in skateboarding is when you do a trick like a shove it where the board rotates 180 degrees. And so I thought it would be nice to give myself the option to not attract, but then I realized that I'm repelling here. So that'll be an interesting aspect of this experiment. I'm gonna switch it back to the correct polarity. And let's see. Okay, that foot attaches. And you can't go straight up. You kinda have to peel it off because of the surface area that's attracting with the magnet. All right, so my duct tape isn't really sticking very well, but let's put both feet on. Okay, it's not even strong enough. 
to lift the board up. Okay, I can lift it up for a manual. <laughs> Interesting, okay. So I can't jump up with the board. The attraction isn't that strong just on its own. So when I did my first step on test, I found that the magnets were lifting up and that's mainly because the duct tape's adhesion to the grip tape, which is like sandpaper, it's coarse, it rubs away over time. So it's not sticking very well to the grip tape, but I added some of these diagonally just to increase the connection here. Hopefully this will keep it better in place. of any experiment is your analysis and assessing how things went. I cannot wait to get these magnets out of my shoes. Man, my feet are really sore from the impact. So if we're going to use the same strength magnets next time, we've got to find a way to decrease the distance between them because that's going to increase the magnetic attraction. The only way I can think of is if we somehow cut a hole in the sole of the shoe. but the issue is the weakness of that connection. Unless there's a really firm connection between the magnet and the insole, it's just gonna get ripped off when you jump up because that's the, the weakest component in the chain. What could be possible is if you made the entire insole a magnetic sheet and then you made your grip tape a magnetic sheet as well. That could be one idea to try. Additionally, with the board, there's got to be a better way to put the magnets on the board itself because the adhesion of the tape doesn't stick well and this gets in the way of your flip tricks. When I was filming without the magnets in my shoes, I wanted to keep these the same to try and keep it as controlled of an environment as possible, but this greatly inhibits your ability to slide up. I mean, maybe it helps a little bit because the tape sticks up and it's grippy, but it's changing the topography of the board. So it was just different. Maybe I could get used to it. But in general, finding a way to put the magnet inside the board, I think would be a better way. However, the problems with that would be that anytime you change material, you greatly reduce the strength. So that would increase the snapping if you land on the nose or the tail. In general, I think the idea has some merit. I think it's worth exploring more, but there's no substitute for hard work, getting your tricks consistent and well, and not relying on magnetic attraction to land your tricks. I want to show you in slow motion what these magnets will do to one another. They're probably going to break, 